Hey, what's up you guys? You're watching Team APS, and I'm with my friend Calvin. First time in a long, long time. The other guy in the mat. Yeah, and today we're here with six things we wish we would've known when we started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! The first one is, I wish I'd known that everything will get reprinted if you just wait. Wait, patience. Because in Yu-Gi-Oh! it's easy, I think, to get, you know, Kind of an end of the hype and into the whole like I need to buy this card as soon as it comes out. I need it to finish my yeah. deck. I, like, I I must have it and it's good and the price justifies it and all this stuff. But then you realize like it will get repeated. Yeah, things it's, it's, and it will right like yeah. You are gonna drop a lot of money at first because you want it then. It just came out. It's hollow. It's pretty. It's shiny and it will get reprinted in a close rarity. Yeah, yeah. Because now like we've got. What like those Mega Tens and, yeah. and Gold series? And Gold, gold and, is cool. I like Gold series. And like other stuff. And so it's like just at the point where like even if it's secret, you know, mm -hmm. it's still vulnerable. Yeah. Right. Still, like, when you get a reprint. It's if anything, I would actually say that the card you should be most concerned about are like those random commons and like rares yes. that don't get reprinted. Yes. And then like we're sitting here like five years later and it's just kind of like, so guys, like when are they going to reprint? When we get another one? Scrap Chimera or something. When can I get an ultimate real penguin soldier? Yeah. I really want one of those. Yeah, those random cards, you never know. So, yeah. I wish I'd known that being patient like is better. Just wait, don't spend your money at once. I made that mistake a few times. Well, with me, I think one of the things I wish I would've known was to always keep my stables. Cause uh, what I've noticed, this game is kind of hard to quit. And um, yeah, the staples, you'll always use them. So a lot of times I'll haul out my staples, feel like I don't want to play, sell everything, and end up buying the same staples over again. So I wish I would've kept my staples. Yeah, I, and I agree because like, you know, archetypes come and go, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like the, right now it's Cosmos, but like in a few months, you know what I mean? Like it'll be something else and like this, it'll all be cheap. But at the end of the day, like, you know, ulti veilers aren't, yep. you know what I mean? Like, the strap is still great to me. Yeah, like those type of cards aren't going anywhere, right? Like it's yeah, always, they're right. always going to be pricey. Now it's going to be a staple, pretty much. So, yeah, and then you'll always need them. It always sucks to kind of have to like be almost done with your deck. Yeah, and then dark hole yeah, and then, like, yeah, I need a dark hole, guys. And that's the moment when no one has dark. No hole. one has a dark hole no around you. Stuff at all. Sucks. Um, my thing that I wish I would have known um, is to read your opponent's cards. Yes. Watch your opponent. Uh, I think we in this community like put way too much stock in the whole like read your cards. If you don't read your cards, you're an idiot. You know. But yes, you should read your you cards. Read like, your you know, that's rule a good number thing. one, read your cards. Rule yeah. two. But rule two should always be read your opponents. Like too read many people. Cards. Do you know how many people you've seen? You know, at our mm -hmm. locals, how it is. Where like people will sit there and like just let their opponent do stuff. Like also, uh, some why I reason you should read your opponent's cards is because um, a lot of times they don't fully read their cards. They kind of skim through it and then they just mess the effect up and just start doing shit. Yeah, that and they can't. Yeah, do. and people will do stuff and like. So you really have to read your opponent's. Cards. Also. Nothing makes me angrier than watching like not just the kids but like grown players. Mm -hmm. we, we know a few know who who will like sit and like they'll be playing someone who's better than them maybe, but like this person's just sitting there like just doing combos and stuff. It's like you can only do that once per turn and or then the move couldn't have been done four moves ago. And yeah, it just, it just, and it's just like well, what do you do? Because you don't read your opponent's cards. Yeah, so read your cards, yes, but. I wish I'd have known to read my opponent's cards. I've seen so many people, and myself, I've had the problem of like just assuming that opponent's right. Yeah. It doesn't work out. So, yeah, another one with me is um, to know your own card prices or value. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like I wish I would have known from the start to actually keep up with the game because it could be a regional or something going on, some random deck is in top four now, and then all of a sudden, cards in that deck just shoot up. And next thing you know, someone's trying to trade you for the cards, you think nothing of it, you don't know the value, and boom, you've got swung. Yeah, especially because, like, I think in this game, like, you kind of have to go into every trade pretty much assuming your opponent's not going to tell you. Like, yeah, you know. Yeah, they're not going to. Like, you said your opponent's they, not going to tell you what their cards were. <laughs> That's what it's like. That's what <laughs> trading <laughs> is. If you're trading with somebody, they're trading they're your opponent. They're, they're trying to <laughs> get Sorry, the other person. You. Yeah, like, people are, though, right? Like, people, yeah. like, if I'm trading you, the most thing I'll say is, like, oh, I don't know what it's worth. Yeah. Like, that's the best you can expect them to say. 
Yeah, they'll, they're never gonna say like your card that's ten dollars is worth like twelve. Yeah, yeah. Like they're yeah, not yeah. gonna help you. Cause I'm uh, basically I'm really going to assume that you keep up with the game and oh what your own stuff is worth. It's not for me to tell you. It's for me to get it from you. That's. I wish I knew that early on, cause I, when I first started playing, I got like, it's a horrible trade. Yeah, like I just agreed like, to some, yeah, some horrible things. Yeah, boozle. Like I, I think what was it? It was like Dark Lords. Like in, in Phantom Darkness, I had some of those secret rares, and they were pretty pricey. Yeah. And like I just, and people were like, oh, it's only worth like five bucks. It'll go down. Yeah, they, uh, they'll, they'll take your stuff. They don't care. They will do that. Uh, so my third one. Like any hobby, Yu-Gi-Oh takes time and money. I kind of wish I'd known that earlier, I want to say, because, um, yeah. eh. I, I think when I like first started playing, I had this like mistaken idea that Yu-Gi-Oh is, like, if I just, Simple. yeah, like if I just play a little better, I'll and win. And it does take time and, and money. So, yeah, Cause yeah. I mean, how many times have somebody, have you seen people and then someone will say like, oh yeah, they went and bought the best deck, but they suck with it. Cause they don't, they haven't invested the time to actually learn how to play the deck. It does require both. Yeah, it's funny you say that. Cause I've seen people who've played for a long time, but because they like refuse to invest because you know, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, I don't think that it's worth it. It's just a card game. And then that's kind of why they don't win. So yeah, you gotta have that balance though. It's just both. both. Which sucks in a way, but I mean, but that's like any hobby, though, it's right? Any hobby. Like, cause what you collect shoes. You collect shoes, and, and it's not something that like happened overnight, you know, right? Like you know, six years in the making. It requires a lot yeah. of time and a lot of money. If you want to see my shoe collection, you should definitely put that in the comments. How about 500 likes? 500, 500 likes, and I will yeah. show my shoe collection. And so, yeah, but I do wish when I came into this game, I just knew, like, that it's not something I'll learn overnight. That would have probably helped me with my mentality and things. So. Yeah, that is true. That's a good one. And what's um, your last? My last one is, um, I wish I would have known. I saw that the, the game itself was nothing like the anime or cartoon, whichever you prefer. Right, like, cartoon um, back in the day. Yeah. Oh, we all thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was going to be more like that. You know, I can just get a blue eyes. Get a summer school, just play it on the field. They just summon it. Just... Hey, just certain stuff was gonna happen based on where I'm located on the earth, and I get a boost <laughs> for my bug monster or something like that. It's nothing like that. It's yeah, it was. Um, I hate they still keep the anime wrong. Yeah, this is, far in, and the anime is still lying to kids. It's not like the anime. I I mean, I don't know if I even wish it was more. Actually, a funny story was like. As a kid back then, I held my own tournament for my birthday, and I used the show rules. So like, I put like oh, a blue piece of paper on the ground that was like all oh, water monsters got boosts, and I had like actually that sounds fun. Thing. I was like twelve. A blue so. piece of paper, like that's how yeah, we should so do it. So anybody actually. had a water deck, you know, their monsters got some yeah. kind of boosts, and then like other the places, yeah, I had gray sprinkle and that. It's just I was a kid back then, but it was that's fun. It's really fun, even today. Like. <laughs> You it could use that as opposed to like but yeah, cosmos it was, and monarchs. And, yeah, it was definitely something to do, but it's nothing like the anime at all. So those are six things that we wish we'd six. known when we started playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, yes. You know, kind of with some kind of learned the hard way. Mm -hmm. Others not as badly, but um, what do you guys think though? What are in hindsight, you know, it's twenty twenty. What would you say are things you wish you'd known when you first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh that would have helped you save money or win more or just, you know, whatever? Anything, uh, really. Just stuff you wish you would have known from the beginning, from the start. Leave it in the comments. And also, uh, check out social media. Uh, subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh. Remember, I'm giving away TCG Player gift cards Ooh. this month. If you want a chance to win one of 10 $20 gift cards. One of 10. You can enter the description. Enter the description. Enter the giveaway in the description below. Uh, I think I'm not forgetting anything, so. 500 likes. Remember that. 500 likes. Yeah. I'll definitely do it. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys like the video. Um, and that's it. Bye! Later.